Hey, everyone, and welcome back to some more War of the Chosen. So, I moved one engineer to the proving ground to speed up the spark construction a little bit. And let's go back to the bridge. I think we should grab that engineer. Because it's pretty obvious we could use more engineers. We'll grab one. We still got 321 supplies. And we'll probably build a radio tower after the engineer. But we'll see about that. We will need one soon. I'm not going to spend 160 intel to make contact with another region. Definitely not. And there it is. Oh yeah, that will finish the mech. Nice. So, I mean, the spark, whatever. Same thing. Okay then. What is going to be next? Spark suppression. Okay. Mayhem Protocol. Advent Chip Adaptation. Right, remember, I am using Metal Over Flesh mod, which expands sparks a lot. I'm not quite familiar with all the options in that mod, but I'm looking forward to finding out. So what should we actually get? There are so many options. I kind of want Battlefield Medicine. But maybe we should get Spark Suppression or something like that. Okay, let's get Spark Suppression. That's only four days and it will not use any materials. Works for me. So, what about the Spark then? There he is. Now, we can give him some weapon mods. How about we give him Advanced Stock or something like that? That should work quite nicely with overdrive. The spokesman took a big risk getting inside Advent. I actually Nothing like that idea. To our cause. Okay, there advanced stock it is then. The movie, Here, enjoy. We've got bigger things to worry about than a man on a screen. And I think that's it for now. We are still training the bond. All right. There's the engineer. And supplies. Let's have a look. Where's the engineer? Not here, because I already had one here. Oh, he's not doing anything, actually. Alright. Off you go, then. 30 days. Back to the bridge. Now, we still got... Oh, no, we don't have anything else. Right, so either supplies or just start building a radio tower. I would like to start building a radio tower, actually. In New India, probably. Or in Eastern Europe. Well, it's obviously going to be better to build one in Eastern Europe. I think the more important question is whether you want the bonus from Asia or from Europe. On every mission, there is a chance that an Advent unit will join the XCOM squad. Yeah, that is actually pretty good. But this one is also nice. The effect of all weapon modifications is increased. Let's go for Europe. So, radio tower in Eastern Europe. Off we go. And with Western Europe, we'll be much closer to Eastern US. Ben Wilson recovered. Alright, let's build it. And we got Gorilla Ops. So, we'll get a scientist. Wait, hold on. What should we counter? New construction. Minor breakthrough. And counter attack. Advent units have a chance to enter Overwatch after being revealed. Doesn't say how high that chance is. I wouldn't mind another scientist, actually. And countering new construction is obviously useful. We can deal with minor breakthrough. We will likely just counter Avatar project with our next covert action. That's what I'm thinking. 
let's get to the scientist. We only got four scientists, which honestly isn't that much. We don't have automated defenses in here, which means high concentration of robotic enemies. That might be a little bit annoying, but I think we can deal with that. Alright, let's do this one. We have a lot of soldiers who can shred. A lot of classes that normally cannot shred. So, oh yes, Spark is ready for combat. We are definitely bringing it. Let's remove everyone. So, Spark. You're joining. And what else? We can't swap anything in here just yet. 10 health, 12 mobility, 73 aim. Okay, 73 aim is pretty damn good. Right, others. Who else do we want here? We could grab Joseph. Not sure just how hard this mission is going to be. So how about we get Joseph and Steven? And probably Carlos to scout and also to shred. And Grandpa Moray. Is he actually free? He should be. Where is he anyway? Yeah, he's right here. Okay, one more person. Maybe someone lower rank. How about one of our genius sharpshooters? They really need more experience. So that would be Ryan. He should be close to a sergeant by now. He has to be close to a sergeant. Alright, that's going to be our squad. Let's give them proper gear. Can we upgrade anything else at this point? Right, we can upgrade the spark weapon. We probably should. We do have 72 alloys, so might as well do it. I do plan to use spark regularly. I mean, that was kind of the whole point of using this mod, you know? <laughs> it would be silly to use metal over flesh and then not use sparks. And upgrade the armor. Yep. Well, hopefully that will be worth it. What's the damage range now? Oh yeah, now we can add one more weapon mod. What should that be? I'm thinking expanded magazine. That will be useful, especially with overdrive. Alright, sure. 13 health. And what's the damage range again? 6 to 8 damage. So, other gear. Let's have a look. Joseph. Let's give him dodge, like so. Now, we can keep aim as a swapper, but I think I'd rather just use it on someone. Hopefully we'll find some weaker PCSs to use as swappers. Hold on, Joseph already had plus 3 health, never mind. I would prefer to keep that on him. Carlos doesn't have anything. Let's give Carlos aim. It's pretty important for him to hit, because of Silent Killer. And then we still got Dodge. Grandpa Moray already has a mod. We can keep that one as a swapper. I assume Spark can't use PCS. Still, it's 21 Dodge. That is a lot of Dodge. I feel like we should give it to someone. Let's keep it for now. Right, who is going to get what? First of all, weapons. Where's the shotgun? Grandpa Moray has it. Yeah, let's give the modded shotgun to Joseph. Like so. Modded magnetic rifle to Steven. And obviously a medkit. Battle scanner to Ryan. Or we could give him Dragon Rounds. Dragon Rounds will not be super useful against robotic enemies. 
I'm not sure if it's going to be just robotic enemies and nothing else, or just a lot of robotic enemies. I suppose it won't hurt to bring dragon rounds. Worst case scenario, they will do nothing. Which is not the end of the world. Frost bomb. Right, there's no actual grenadier in this setup, which is probably not ideal. But we can deal with it. I don't want all of these people in here. We'll just go without a grenadier this time. Still, someone should grab the frost bomb. Who would that be? Oh wait, we can use medkit on a spark. Okay. Well, not a lot of options left in here. Let's give it to Steven. Here, and someone should grab the flashbang grenade. And I guess that's it. We could still build something, but we don't have a whole lot of supplies left. Smoke grenade. Or nanoscale vest. Let's get a nanoscale vest. Here. That's a lot of health on Joseph, holy crap. That's 19 health on Joseph. Alright, now we are ready. Let's go. I'm quite looking forward to this mission. Should be fun. Sky Ranger Spark hype. I should give him some name. Actually, if you got a suggestion what a fun name for the Spark would be, post it in the comments below. Now, here we are. Let's take a look around, shall we? We'll send Carlos first, as usual. That's pretty much his job. We got 11 turns. And our objective is right here. Looks cleared so far. I guess we can dash safely. Let's not waste too much time. Now, Spark is not exactly great at sneaking around. I'll put it that way. But it should be fine as long as there's nothing too close to us. Alright. Looks like we got some high ground. Here's the first group. We got a mech and a spectre. Let's take a better look here. Okay, just a mech and a spectre. There might be a third one because we can't see everything down there. Let's move a little bit closer. We can attack them on the next turn. So Ryan on the right side. And rangers in the front. Grandpa Moray over here. And Joseph. This is fine. Steven slightly more in the back and Spark somewhere in the middle. I don't want to trigger them, obviously. Alright, Overwatch. We don't have one rocket launcher on the Spark. That will definitely come in handy. Now, how do we do this? We do have chain shot. So that would basically kill the spark. Guaranteed. And it's 100% chance to hit. We can't actually target the spectre with it. No line of sight. We could target him from here. Except that's not a safe tile for Joseph. I guess we'll just kill the mech then. We can also save chain shot. There's probably no need to waste it on this. Right, let's just take a shot. 99% for Ryan. 
What about the Grandpa Moray? Also 100. 35% chance to crit. So 35% chance to kill the mech. And the Grandpa Moray has shred. So that will be helpful. Now Overwatch, because that doesn't work on the Spectre. Let's just take a shot. Didn't even see how much damage we did. 5 damage and we shredded all his armor. Okay. Should be pretty easy to kill both of them now. Okay, looks fine. First of all... Oh great, Ryan doesn't have line of sight. We'll just move up slightly. No problem, we can do that. Unfortunately, that will not be a kill. We can get a kill with Carlos and stay concealed. Let's do that then. I'd like to keep Carlos concealed. Now, what about that Spectre? We can do a ton of damage with Joseph, but I'm a little bit worried we might trigger something. I don't feel entirely comfortable with this. Let's maybe play it a little bit safer and jump down here. We'll still reveal a little bit of the fog, but not nearly as much as we would have if we moved directly next to the Spectre. And this still should be very high chance to hit. Sure thing. And we can use Chain Shot. Yeah, okay, there's a turret on the roof. Well, alright. We can just tank some damage from the turret if we really want to. I mean, Joseph has 19 health. He's basically a walking tank. How much damage would this do? 94% with chain shot. This would maybe even kill the Spectre. As an alternative, we can use teamwork to move afterwards. Or we can also just try to stun the turret. How about we try to stun the turret first? If that fails, we'll see what then. 78%. And we got it, nice. Okay, don't have to worry about it. And we'll use chain shot. Only 6% chance to not get the second shot. Hopefully we won't get that unlucky. <laughs> Come on, Joseph. There we go, 8 damage and one more shot. There, it's dead. Nice. Only the best. Now, let's do some damage to that turret if we can. The spark is close enough to do some damage. This shouldn't trigger anything. Because Joseph would have done it by now. 24% chance to hit. And we do have shred on the spark. That is a lot of armor on that turret. That didn't do a whole lot. Well, that's basically our turn done. We shouldn't have too many problems killing it. But we need to shred it. For obvious reasons. Do we have holo targeting on anyone in this squad? I don't think we do. No, we do not. Doesn't really matter who's going to take the first shot as long as he has shred. That's better. Free armor shredded. And let's try to get a kill for Ryan. I would really like to get him promoted to sergeant from this mission. Really, bro? Do you not want your promotion? Well, okay. Maybe he doesn't. Why can Carlos not take a shot here? Let's see if we can get a kill with Carlos. That should be a kill. Well, we might end up doing 4 damage. Who else can take a shot? Can Grandpa Moray do it? Yep. Okay, let's do that. And it's a kill. Good job. And we can still move. Might as well. Alright, let's move on. We can keep a few people on the high ground. 
We are pretty close to our objective. But let's not reveal any more fog on this turn. Yeah, let's not reveal anything. I'm thinking just Overwatch at this point. Folk says I am to obey. Sounds good, Overwatch it is then. Looks clear. Let's send Carlos into the building. How can we enter without losing concealment? Through here, from the looks of it. Here. Looks like two groups on top of each other. That's all mechs. Okay. I got an interesting idea. A claymore and then a rocket launcher from the Spark. We just need line of sight. Range is certainly not a problem at all. We should be able to launch it through the window or so. We just need good positioning. Meanwhile, we can move a little bit closer. Just not too close. I don't want to actually trigger them yet. We got seven more turns. And let's keep Ryan on the high ground, shall we? For at least one more turn. Okay, we'll go for the Claymore on the next turn. Because we need to be a little bit closer. We got our objective, but we already knew it's there. A little bit closer still. That will do. Let's see if they are going to move. I want these two groups to stay on top of each other. Oh wait, that's one group. That's one group of four mechs. Okay, that's interesting. Go, go overwatch. Well, that's a lot of mechs. But that's the sea trap for you, I suppose. I just didn't expect four mechs to be in one pod. Come on, do some damage. Nice. Well, could have been better, but I'll take it. One more shot. Not quite enough. And it's down. Okay. Three more. The Riot Mech will use the smoke grenade. That's the annoying part about them. So let's see how we are going to do this. Not much point using the Claymore anymore. We still could, but there's not much point really. Let's check Ryan's options. Only one target. And we do have a chance to kill it. We need to do 7 or 8 damage. Nice, it's down. Enemy down. Okay, two more. They are both at full health. So Grandpa Moray should be first because he has shredded, while Joseph does not. Let's move a little bit closer. What's our chance to hit? 84%. Yeah, this mech is not inside the smoke. The anti-riot mech is. There we go, shredded. We could try Reaper. However, if we run in with Reaper, we'll probably trigger yet another group. Which I would prefer to avoid. Just saying. So... Just take a shot. We got Joseph, Carlos... Oh yeah, we still got the Spark. We can technically use Overdrive. Seems really unnecessary. Yeah, I don't think that's necessary. Let's just take a shot. Try to get a kill for the Spark. Oh hey, the Spark can actually hug the objective. But there's no need to do that yet, and we're better off doing it with a specialist. Here we go, that's a kill for the spark. Now, can we kill the anti-riot mech? That might be a little bit hard when it's standing inside the smoke. Well, 
Carlos can shred it, but he risks losing concealment, obviously. Heading out. Let's check our chance to hit. 63%. We would have to shred it first. That's the only way it's going to happen. Which means we got a 50% chance to lose concealment, but if we lose concealment, we can still use shadow afterwards. And since we're going to do it, let's maybe back up into proper full cover. Okay, 96%. There, shredded. Now we need to actually hit. Which is the hard part. 63% We do have teamwork Which we can use with Steven if we want to Missed So do we use teamwork? No, hold on, he's out of ammunition, so no teamwork We'll take a shot with Steven, I suppose He technically still has a chance to kill it But I wouldn't really count on it yeah, he's not going to kill it. Let's take a shot. Here, 5 damage. Well, we tried. It's down to 3 health. It doesn't do that much damage. Yeah, it will target the spark. Doesn't matter, it's fine. Oh, I hope the sparks won't take forever to repair with metal over flesh, because that was always one of my problems with sparks. They took forever to repair. Might as well kill it with Carlos. And let's hug the objective. Not with the spark though, with the specialist. That should do it. No? Okay then. I guess we can always stand on the same exact tile. Here, one of these will be good enough. Not a problem. Okay, let's move in. There will definitely be at least one more group. So let's reload and be prepared for that. Everyone reload. And we might also move into the building. Overwatch, in case something finds us. Maybe move Ryan a little bit closer. He might have problems with line of sight from out there. Moving to Overwatch. No group yet. Okay then. So let's hack, shall we? Accessing system. And try not to fail the hack this time. 89% chance to increase income from the current region, or we can delay dark event projects, only 49. Considering how many hack failures I had, I think I'll go for a more guaranteed option. So 89% chance to increase income. The Chosen decrease our income fairly regularly anyway, so this is useful. And it worked. Now we just find the remaining groups. They will probably find us. All we have to do is overwatch and wait. That will almost certainly work. We still got the rocket launcher. That will certainly come in handy. Alright, let's overwatch and see if they find us. I'm pretty sure they will. Yep, there they are, on the roof. Spectre and Advent Mech and another Spectre with loot. Alright, go. Right, that won't really work on Spectres. We might do one damage with... Oh, hold on, we actually hit it. Well, alright, I did not expect that. I was going to say we might do at least one damage with stock. Apparently we did a lot more than that. Ryan, go. Nice. He dodged, but it's more than zero. I'm okay with that. Looks like that's two mechs and two specters. Shouldn't be too bad. We did pretty good damage there. And if they stay on the roof, we might be able to destroy the roof. We still got a rocket launcher. 
Okay, wait, that's three mechs and two specters. This looks like two separate groups, honestly. Okay. So, let's have a look. Well, this would be a good moment to use overdrive. Let's take a look. Great, Ryan doesn't have a single target. We can use Haywire Protocol. We also have the Frost Bomb. I wonder if we could freeze all of them right here. Probably. Something is on Overwatch. What's on Overwatch? Not seeing it, but something is on Overwatch, apparently. Well, how do we do this, exactly? I'm thinking Reaper would be a pretty good idea here. We can kill the mech. Oh wait, we can't attack the Spectre? No, because he's on the roof. I still want to destroy the roof, if at all possible. Where's this Overwatch coming from? Because I'm not seeing it. Well, I guess we can always just jump up here and then use the rocket launcher. There's no need for overdrive, we'll be fine without that. Here. What? We can't actually see them? Oh, come on! It's blocking our line of fire. I did not predict that one. Well, my bad. Let's kill the Spectre then. We know they are there, however. So, how do we get around to doing it? We still got teamwork, so that's an option. I think we might be able to do it from one of these tiles, and then we can use teamwork, perhaps. Now, this will trigger a reaction shot from something, but Joseph has 19 health. He's a walking tank, so he can afford to take some damage. Oh wait, that's what it was. That group wasn't actually triggered. Didn't they move? Well, at least... We know what it was about now. <laughs> I thought something was on Overwatch that I didn't see. Well, doesn't matter, they're here now. So much for that grenade idea, though. I don't think we can reach any of them with it. Alright. Well, let's kill the mech in that case. We still got the Claymore. Yeah, alright. I'm a little bit torn about how to do this exactly. I can't get up there. At least not without dashing. I could dash up there and then use teamwork. Not sure if that's such a good idea. I don't really want to waste running gun for this. But I don't want to make their job of flanking us even easier. Can we collapse this stupid roof somehow? Maybe we actually can, hold on. No, that seems really unlikely. Seems like a massive stretch, I don't think this would do it. It won't be enough to kill the spark either, I mean the mech, whatever. Yeah, Claymore won't really work either. 
We're too close to the wall. What's the range on Claymore throw? I don't think it's enough to throw it from back here, for example. I'm pretty sure it will not be. We are also out of ammunition, so I can't move and then still fire. Here's an interesting idea. What if we conceal, run up to the roof, and then use teamwork, and then throw the claymore? The only problem with that plan is that someone will have to trigger it. I'm not sure who exactly that would be. I'm not sure if anyone will be able to even take a shot. Well, Ryan could do it. Might not be entirely safe for him. Why can I not see the roof? Ryan would be able to do it, maybe. This is really annoying. Well, you know what? We need to do something. We can move after getting a kill, so how about we kill this mech already? Here. That's one down. Several more to go. Oh wait, we can't move after getting a kill. What? Why not? Oh wait, I was thinking about a different ability. Right. The next shot against us will miss. That's good enough. Now what about that claymore? I still don't think we can make it work. At least I just don't see how. No, there is no way we can make it work. There's not a whole lot I can do. We can play defensively, that's really about it. I think that's the only real option we have, just play defensively. And let them do their thing. Moving to designated coordinates. We can spam some overwatch. Alright, I think that's our best option. Maybe use 8 protocol on someone. Carlos can reload. Alright, let's spread out a little bit. And get into slightly better positions for overwatch. Not much point taking that shot. I'll hunker down with Ryan. Maybe Aid Protocol Ryan or something. Or Grandpa Moray. He has 14 health. Or we can Aid Protocol the Spark. Yeah, that sounds like a much better idea. In fact, we kind of need that on the Spark. Plus 30 defense, that's much better. If only we could freeze one of them, that would be great. But alas, we cannot. Carlos. Okay, Overwatch and Moray. We still got that teamwork, but it's not going to achieve much. Or anything, basically. That's it, let's see what's going to happen. Hopefully nothing bad. Okay, they are jumping down, that's a good thing already. Can we do some damage? Yes, we can. That was almost a kill. I blame that initial miss. Okay, that's untouchable. Triggering. One more spark. It's also jumping down. Yeah, they are going for Joseph. That's fine. That's his job to tank some hits. Oh, hi. More mechs, apparently. That has to be the last group now. Right? Hey, at least we'll get a lot of mech wrecks from this. And remember, more wrecks means more sparks. This means we should probably pick up the load. 
because we will miss out. Unless we can manage to kill everything in the next two turns. Let's see, how do we do this? They are not close enough for a claymore. This would be the best moment to use overdrive, I guess. Yep, overdrive it is then. And we'll get three shots from what's technically high ground. And we'll shred them in the process. Okay, that's the first one. 83 on the second one. We got one, good. And one more, or we can use a rocket launcher. That's going to be better. Because the third shot will only have 64% chance to hit. Rocket launcher will be much better. Here you go. Nice. And we'll get better line of sight to that make as well. And it will take additional damage. So now Ryan can take a shot at that mech. Hopefully kill it. There. Enemy eliminated. Not enough for a promotion yet. But he has to be very close. Chain shot? I guess so. Well, chain shot should do the trick. Easily. 100. Yep, that's a granted kill, basically. Or at least it should be, right? Oh, one damage short, apparently. That's actually convenient, because someone else can get the experience. Joseph doesn't exactly need the experience. Yep. Others will get the experience. One down. And one more to go. That should finish the mission, I assume. There's no way there are even more mechs. Goodbye. We are done, right, Bradford? Oh, right, we still got the Spectre. I almost forgot about that part. Okay, then. Well, I would like the load. We'll pick it up on the next turn. Watching comes naturally. Well, let the Spectre come to us. <laughs> nice shot. How's that working out for you? Up we go. Let's grab the loot. Is he on Overwatch or something? We can't even see him right now. There he is. Hi. Fancy seeing you here. Can we finish this already? Can we finish him off somehow? Get to the roof? What is this all about? Oh, that will make us lose concealment. I don't care about that, I just want the loot. We are pretty much done with this mission. Oh yeah, that will break concealment because we will break the window, that makes sense. Literally doesn't matter. Advanced laser sight, alien data cache and delirium. Nice haul. Now, we still got teamwork. I would like to kill the Spectre on this turn, if at all possible. It's just not that easy to get to that stupid roof. Or get line of sight with really anyone. Do we have even one tile from which we could attack? Yeah, this one. It will be just with the pistol, but better than nothing. Yeah, never mind. Too low chance to hit. Surely someone can do it. Anyone? Well, yeah, maybe Joseph. Going in for the kill. Run and gun through here. There. That should be a flank. Here, 88. And we missed with 88%. What the heck? Really, bro? Negative ammo, I'm spent. What was that supposed to be? Well, we can still take a shot with... No, Steven is out of ammunition. Great. We got a claymore, but I don't think we can set it off with anyone. Uh, yes, we actually can. 
Okay, we can do it. I think. I just don't want to hit Spark. This will be exactly the damage we need. So first of all, throw the Claymore. Then we can use Teamwork. And set off the Claymore. And that will kill the Spectre. And finish the mission. Here. Done. Status confirmed. All hostiles are so that's a lot of Advent Maker X. It will easily be enough for another spark, maybe even for two sparks. That was quite fun. Promotions. Tell me Ryan will get a promotion from mission experience. No, he will not. Maybe next time. The spark got promoted, however. So, adaptive aim or ball work? I think we should get the ball work. When overdrive is active, standard shots do not incur recoil penalties. So, that eliminates the aim penalty when using overdrive. But the bulwark is active all the time. It's bonus armor and additional high cover for anyone adjacent to the spark. I think that's an obvious choice here. So bulwark it is then. It will be in repairs for six days. That's reasonable. We got stock, alarium core, advanced laser sight and alien data cache. Hello, commander. And a scientist. And we countered the facility timer reduction. Anyway, that's going to be the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did or a dislike if you didn't. And I'll see you next time.